United States Navy personnel from a newly commissioned U.S. combat ship paraded through Australia's capital as the two allies carry out war games amid China's military buildup in the region. The Australian Capital Territory Freedom of Entry Parade came after a commissioning ceremony for the USS Canberra at an Australian naval base on Sydney Harbour. Canberra is the second Navy ship to bear the name of Australia's capital city. The ship's namesake, HMAS Canberra D-33, sunk while fighting alongside U.S. forces during the Battle of Savo Island in World War II. Secretary of the U.S. Navy Carlos del Toro said that while the world is very different to the 1940s when the first USS Canberra CA-70 was commissioned, Australia and the United States are once again facing significant challenges in the Indo-Pacific region. He said, we, along with our allies and partners around the world, are facing significant challenges in every environment that we operate. The People's Republic of China continues the rapid expansion of its navy, leveraging its maritime organizational strength to coerce and intimidate its neighbors into accepting illegitimate maritime claims. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how lethal is Independence Class Littoral Combat Ship USS Canberra. Let's get into the details. The Littoral Combat Ship LCS, is a set of two classes, the Independence and Freedom. Construction of the Freedom class is spearheaded by Lockheed Martin at Fincantiera Marinette Marine Shipyard in Wisconsin, while that of Independence class ships is led by Austal USA in Alabama. These are relatively small surface vessels and primarily designed for operations near shore. During the late 1990s, the U.S. Navy understood that cruisers and destroyers would be vulnerable to attacks in shallow coastal waters. Large warships are designed for open ocean warfare and not for shallow water where these can be targeted by high-speed boats, missile-firing fast attack craft, small submarines, sea mines, and land and air-launched anti-ship missiles. The idea behind the littoral combat ship, as described by former Secretary of the Navy Gordon R. England, is to create a small, fast, maneuverable, and relatively inexpensive member of the DDX family of ships. If required, these ships will absorb an attack and protect the much more expensive cruiser or destroyers. The LCS is envisioned to be a networked, agile, stealthy surface combatant capable of defeating anti-access and asymmetric threats in coastal waters. Interestingly, the LCS has a modular design. The vessel can be configured with different modules for specific roles that include anti-submarine warfare, mine countermeasures, anti-surface warfare, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, homeland defense, maritime intercept, special operations and logistics. USS Canberra has a length of 127 meters, that's 418 feet, and a displacement of 3,104 tons when fully loaded. The warship has an integrated LOS mast, Sea Giraffe 3D radar, and Sea Star Sapphire FLIR. The interior volume and payload are greater than some destroyers and are sufficient to serve as a high-speed transport and maneuver platform. The mission bay is 15,200 square feet or 1,410 square meters and takes up most of the deck below the hangar and flight deck. With 11,000 cubic meters of payload volume, it was designed with enough payload and volume to carry out one mission with a separate mission module in reserve, allowing the ship to do multiple missions without having to be refitted. The ship uses two gas turbines and two diesel engines to power four steerable water jets. USS Canberra has a speed of 40 knots plus, that's 46 miles per hour or 74 kilometers per hour, and has a range of 4,300 nautical miles, that's 4,900 miles or 8,000 kilometers. It will accommodate 40 core crew plus up to 35 mission crew. USS Canberra can carry up to two fire scouts. The Northrop Grumman MQ-8 Fire Scout is an unmanned autonomous helicopter 
developed by Northrop Grumman, and is designed to provide reconnaissance, situational awareness, aerial fire support, and precision targeting support for ground, air, and sea forces. Fire Scout's surveillance and targeting capability is expected to further enhance the LCS's lethality. USS Canberra will be armed with a variety of weapons. One BAE Systems Mark 110 57mm gun, one Raytheon C-RAM CIWS or close-in weapon system, four 50 caliber guns, two aft and two forward, two 30mm Mark 44 Bushmaster II guns, part of SUW module, 24 AGM 114L Hellfire missiles, planned part of SUW module or eight NSMs in deck-mounted canisters. Naval Strike Missiles, or NSM, will be the most powerful weapon of the USS Canberra, which gives it robust firepower and the ability to take on much larger opponents. It is the upgrade of Kongsberg Penguin short-to-medium-range anti-ship-guided missile. The missile has a range of 100 miles or 185 kilometers. NSM is capable of high subsonic speeds. It has sea skim mode by which it travels very close to the surface, making it hard to detect and intercept. It's also designed to maneuver to avoid enemy defenses. It's equipped with 276 pounds or 125 kilogram multi-purpose blast fragmentation warhead. NSM features an imaging IR seeker, which is complemented by inertial GPS navigation. The missile also has a built-in database of representative ship types to distinguish between intended targets and other objects. Importantly, it can be used as an anti-ship missile for taking out land targets. NSM is expected to be placed on the decks of LCSs through a proprietary canister launcher. As part of its trilateral defense initiative called AUKUS, the US, UK and Australia officially unveiled long-rumored plans to create an Australian nuclear-powered submarine force. The deal is designed to counter growing Chinese military dominance in the region. As per the roadmap, the deal has three phases and will see a major shift in the power dynamics in the region. It's evident that the US and Australia are working together very closely. The events related to USS Canberra coincide with the Talisman Sabre military exercises held every two years between the US and Australia, seen as a show of force and unity as China increasingly asserts power in the Indo-Pacific region. USS Canberra is a potent addition to the US Navy fleet and with NSM on board, USS Canberra can sink much larger rivals. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.